Okay, welcome back. Um, on this particular uh, piece of code and video, what I want to do is talk about just using these feelers or bump sensors. And uh, the way that actually this particular robot is set up, I should move it more so you can actually see it. Um, it's just a loop of wire, which is electrically conductive. And this blue wire here, which is hooked up to the ground, all right, on the uh, motor controller board, actually then connects into the wire underneath the robot. Oops, I turned it on by accident. So what that means is that electricity can flow through this wire into ground. These two green wires here, okay, hook up to these screws here, and they are plugged into these two pins here which if you look are labeled uh, A0 and A1. Uh, there's a small zero through five over here that you can read. I can zoom in on this just a little bit and move that down, although it's not the best resolution. But you can see these two green wires are connected to these very two first pins closest to this edge of the board, okay? and those go to pins A0 and A1. Now, um, this code I'm going to show you in just a second. I guess I'll show it to you right now. Let's move this guy back like this. Um, is almost identical to the last code. The only thing that I've added is right here, okay? I've made two uh, these two pins, A0 and A1. I want them to be inputs because I want to be able to receive a signal from the wire. And I've called a, um, a command which makes some uh, pull-ups. In other words, what will happen is these pins are going to be uh, ever so slightly high. They're going to have just a little bit of current running at 5 volts all the time. So if nothing's hooked up to it and you ask the processor is it high or not, is it on or not, it's gonna say yes it's on because there's voltage going to it. Okay, It's it's live I guess is another way to think of it. So I'm telling pin 0 and P1 to be input and I want them to be live. And what will happen if we go down here to the loop okay? If digital read right now on pin 0 is equal to, and there's two equal signs, which means I'm not, which means I'm asking if it is in fact off or low, then I want to back up for a little bit and I want to turn for a little bit. All right? Because remember, right now it's always on. I've told it to be live. So there's electricity, there's electrons already in the pin. As soon as this wire bumps into it, the electrons now have a way of getting to ground, so they do not go into the pin, and the pin goes low, which means that the wire is making contact, and I have told the robot to back up and turn. And I've done the exact same thing with the other one, A0 and A1, both of them. If they go low, it will back up and turn. Let me stress that double equal. Okay, I'm asking if it is. I'm not telling it to do it. I'm not equating it. I'm asking if it is. In this particular case, I actually have it stop because I don't want to run in all the time. So you can see it's in a loop. And right now, if neither of these low, neither of these are low. In which case, right now they are not because it is not touching. Then it's going to stop. But if I bump it. Okay, it turns it on. And if I bump it this way, it turns on the other condition. All right. So what you're actually going to want to do is you're want to going to have it go forward all the time. So I'm going to change that to an F. So now it's going to go forward all the time, very briefly. It's going to go for only 10 milliseconds, and then it's going to check whether or not these have been bumped. All right. But since this only takes microseconds, for all practical purposes, it's going to constantly go forward. It's going to go forward 10 milliseconds. It's going to take off a couple of microseconds to check whether or not uh, either one of these are bumped. And then it's going to go forward for 10 milliseconds. So if I load it, 
you can see it's going to wait three seconds. Remember that I still have that delay way up there. And so it's going forward. And if a sensor gets bumped, it turns. It back up and turn. Back up and turn. And of course, you can change the amount it backs up and the amount it turns by simply changing these. 500 is half a second, right? That's one half second. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and upload this uh, onto the website and feel free to copy it and paste it into your code. And keep in mind, and I'll probably do another video here off to the side, that this is a really simple way of making a feeler, but it's not the most efficient. You can cut this wire and you could have it, you know, be more like whiskers or something sticking out of the front, which would make it probably more effective. But this was uh, simple and easy, and uh, I decided to do it this way for the first run. I'll see you soon.